Okay, today we're installing the Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2 using the Garmin Constant Power cable. That cable is an OBD2 port cable. It runs for 10 minutes, 24 hours, or forever. It powers the camera. It has two USB ports, uh, maybe for running one to the front, one to the back. It comes with these two Velcro sticky tabs that can help hold the USB cable in place. The Garmin Dash Cam Mini itself is very small and lightweight, easy to hide right behind the rear view mirror. The polarized filter, I think is about 20 bucks on Amazon. And um, although not necessary, just helps with the video quality and just snaps on just like that. You just line up a little dot towards the top and just line it up, push it right on. The OBD2 port is located on the left-hand side underneath the dash of the driver's side. It's a little dark. Let me get the light turned on real quick so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Um, there's a space next to it where I'm going to push the rest of the excess cable through that you'll see later on in the video. Port and plug it in to the bottom here. Just make sure it's lined up correctly. It just snaps right in. And you see the red light turns on, indicating that there's power to the unit. And then the USB ports just hang right below. Okay, next step is to locate this airbag um, label here, this little plastic clip. And with a really fine flathead or other similar tool, you got to just wedge right underneath it and pop it up. Once you get underneath there, it should slide right out. And then you can just wiggle it loose. And you can see right underneath, you can see the one screw we need to gain access to. Let me pull that out. Okay. Now you're going to need a T25 Torx bit. And uh, just unscrew it. It's going to take a little while because it's a pretty long screw. So once you get enough loosened up, you should be able to just get your hand on it and just start... Loosen it up by hand. All right, once that's complete, you just need to pull down and away and it should just release. There are two other clips down low, which um, can allow you to remove the entire pillar, but I'm just loosening it up enough to just run the cable through because I don't need all that space. And you'll see that later on in the video. So I'm just gonna leave that much room right there. After that, I'm just gonna go ahead and mount the dash cam um, to the mount that I already used, uh, pulled the adhesive off of and mounted it to the windshield. You can see it's hidden nicely right behind the rear view mirror there. Super small, really nice and discreet. From here, I'm just gonna run the cable connected to the micro USB port on the side of the dash cam and then run it along the headliner and just kind of tuck it in using a trim tool or you can just use your fingers, you don't really need the tool and just kind of run it along until we get back to that A pillar. Once at the A pillar, I just routed it down and around where we pulled it away and then down the weather stripping just follow that keep tucking it in all the way down till you get back towards the base from there you'll see where i stopped here there's a little seam and then i'm just going to follow that seam straight across continue tucking it into the weather stripping across that seam and then through toward where the USB uh, port is going to be located. And you can see the cables run right here. I'm gonna go around to this space right next to and behind the OBD2 plug. And in there is where I'm going to put all the excess cable 
that I do not need, the excess length. Okay, and you can see here, it's all tucked in there, hidden away. All I have left are just the USB coming down from the camera itself and the cable from the OBD2 uh, plug and just need to connect them and tidy it up and make it look nice and clean. And that's pretty much the final setup down low. So you can see it's got the adhesive Velcro attached to the USB ports and those are mounted to the side of the trim there. And then the next and final step is going to be to now go back up to the A-pillar. You'll see all that wire hidden inside that weather stripping there. Inside the A-pillar, it's hidden away, comes across, so we're just going to push that back in. And once that is back in, we're just going to use the screw we pulled out earlier and get that back in, but you can see no wires are showing. They're tucked inside the headliner. You could even push it down inside that plastic trim there. And then there it is, the power's on. Works fine, turn the microphone on or off, your choice. And there it is, tucked away behind the rear view mirror. Don't even see it, looks great. And that's really all there is to it. There's the final shot. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.